Happy Sunday, Pine Belt. And I have to say, this weekend was perfect with a capital P. And if you agree with me, then I'm glad you do, because it was definitely something that was uh, worth spending time outside for, even if it was a little bit. Doesn't have to be long. Not asking for a sunburn, right? Lord knows I, I burn in no time flat. But still, it was a beautiful weekend, and we've got more beautiful on the wet, more beautiful weather on the way. So let's get started, shall we? All right, here's a live look at Express Care in Sumrall, right? You can see those increasing clouds showing up in the picture right here in the Pine Belt. And we have that southeasterly wind I was talking about. If you were just joining us at the beginning of the newscast, I was talking about how to, with the southeasterly breeze being here, it's going to be a bit more prominent for tomorrow ahead of the front. Spoiler alert there. 73 degrees for the folks in Sumrall, and a lot of folks are going to be in those low 70s for now, now that sunset has occurred, and we're going to see that cool off eventually as we make our way through the night. Let's take a look at the tropics real quick. This is all we got in the tropics. You notice that Tropical Storm Sarah made landfall in Belize and is now uh, slowly weakening. It's now a tropical depression, eventually becoming a remnant low until it emerges into the Bay of Campeche. Now, once it emerges there, it'll kind of recurve and kind of flirt with our area a little bit, but that doesn't necessarily mean it'll, it won't be named. It'll just be kind of some remnant moisture that links up with the cold front. Again, spoiler alert, we'll take a look at that in just a moment. For tonight, you notice that we bottom out right around 59 before a slight uptick just before sunrise. That's not your imagination, that is reality. And that's because of an influx of warmer, moist air coming in during the course of tomorrow. And speaking of warm and moist air, it's going to kind of influence our rain chances, especially for the evening hours. Once again, if you're staying late for school or you're staying late over at work, you want to make sure to keep that rain gear handy because the rain chances are primarily during the evening and overnight hours. So Monday looking good as we make our way through Monday, though, things are going to change, increasing clouds. And here comes the rain, right? There you go. It arrives in time for Monday evening, lingering into the pre-dawn hours on Tuesday. This particular model is trying to get the, the broom and dustpan here and sweep the cold front out in time for 6 a.m. Some of them are a little more lackadaisical, if you will. Some of the rain chances could even linger into the morning hours, like the late morning hours on Tuesday. But either way, late Monday into early Tuesday at least for some of the rain chances. But you notice we stay warm for a brief period after the cold front, but that, cold, that cooler air does arrive. All right, rain totals, if you're east of I-59, and south of US 84, you're going to see more rain, and that's some of that tropical moisture I was talking about that interacts with the cold front that's left of Sarah, even though it will no longer be named. Other than that, though, the moisture, the rain, everything goes away, and boom, here comes that less humid air by midweek. And guess what? We are done with the rain after Monday and Tuesday. We look forward to a beautiful week after Wednesday.